a tech revolution with a Southeast Asian twist is brewing. And Singapore is right smack in the center of it. Apple's recent quarter-billion-dollar investment in its Singapore campus isn't just a big deal. It's a game-changer for both the tech giant and the tiny island nation. This strategic partnership signals Apple's deeper commitment to Southeast Asia and positions Singapore as the launch pad for regional innovation. But why Singapore? What makes the city-state so attractive to a tech giant like Apple? And what does Singapore gain from this alliance? Buckle up because we are diving into the hidden forces behind this powerhouse partnership. Be sure to stay till the end as we reveal Singapore's secret weapon that gives it a distinct edge. Apple's love affair with Singapore is a slow burn that's been building for over 40 years. Believe it or not, Apple's journey in Singapore started way back in 1981 with a tiny team of just 72 employees. Fast forward to today, that team has transformed into a central hub, handling everything from software and hardware to services and support for the entire region. But that's not all. Apple's taken root in Singapore with three stunning retail stores across the island nation, becoming a favorite hangout for tech enthusiasts. The impact goes even deeper, with Apple supporting over 60,000 jobs in Singapore. That's not just direct employees. It includes everyone from the supply chain to the innovative developers creating the next big iOS app. But wait, there's more! In April 2024, Apple announced a massive 250 million US dollars investment to supersize their Singapore campus. This expansion isn't just about more space, it's about attracting even more talent, especially in cutting-edge fields like artificial intelligence. This big announcement coincided with Apple CEO Tim Cook's April 2024 Southeast Asian tour, meeting with leaders and customers from Hanoi to Jakarta, including Singapore's incoming Prime Minister Lawrence Wong. It seems Cook is looking for new growth markets, and with good reason. Apple's sales in China, their biggest market for years, have hit a rough patch. iPhone shipments are down, and tensions between China and the US aren't helping. Plus, Huawei's comeback in the high-end phone market is giving Apple a run for its money, especially after the Chinese government banned iPhones from government offices. So where should Apple turn to? Enter Singapore, the perfect springboard for their Southeast Asian ambitions. Their long history together, booming tech scene, and tech-savvy population make Singapore an ideal stage for Apple's next chapter. And the expansion of the Angmo Kio campus is just the first step in this exciting new journey. The benefits are mutual. Singapore's unwavering focus on education has yielded a goldmine of talent, a highly skilled workforce that perfectly aligns with Apple's needs, especially for their AI and other cutting-edge projects. The campus expansion will create a ton of new job opportunities, not just for Singaporeans, but for tech professionals across Southeast Asia. This influx of expertise will act as a catalyst, propelling Singapore's tech sector forward and solidifying its position as a vibrant hub for innovation. This, in turn, would likely attract even more global tech companies to the region, especially with Apple's vote of confidence in Singapore's tech scene sending a powerful message to the world. The impact goes beyond job creation. The upgraded Apple campus, designed with collaboration in mind, will provide a platform for groundbreaking ideas to take root and flourish. Imagine Singaporean developers working alongside Apple engineers, pushing the boundaries of technology and creating solutions that benefit not just Apple users, but the entire global community. This collaborative spirit has the potential to produce game-changing innovations, further solidifying Singapore's reputation as a leader in the Asian tech scene. Singapore is already a hotbed for app development, and Apple's commitment to the region is a boon for local developers. The opening of the first Southeast Asian Developer Center in Singapore in March 2024 serves as a testament to this. This center provides aspiring developers in the region with unparalleled access to Apple experts and the latest Apple technologies to help them take their ideas from local gems to world-class applications. This not only empowers local developers, but also significantly contributes to the growth of Singapore's app economy, catering not only to the local market, but also to a global audience. Apple's strategic partnership with Singapore goes beyond just creating jobs and fostering innovation. It's a strategic alliance that positions Singapore as a leader in sustainable tech development. The new campus, 
powered entirely by renewable energy and aiming for LEED Gold certification, sets a model example for the entire region. This commitment not only benefits the environment, but also aligns perfectly with Singapore's own green goals. Apple's influence here is a catalyst for change. As a major tech player prioritizing eco-friendly practices, they're likely to inspire other companies to follow suit. Imagine a domino effect, a greener future for not only Singapore, but the entire Southeast Asian tech industry. However, there is a deeper strategic play here between Apple and Singapore. Apple, stung by the rise of ChatGPT and other AI tools, needs to catch up. Their competitors like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon are already rolling out innovative AI features. However, Apple's CEO, Tim Cook, sees immense potential in generative AI, a technology with the power to revolutionize how we work, solve problems, and more. But how does Singapore fit in? Well, Singapore has a secret weapon, a well-oiled national AI strategy that has positioned the city-state as a global AI hotspot. They've invested heavily in research and infrastructure, fostering an ecosystem that attracts and nurtures top talent. Initiatives like the AI Visiting Professorship are prime examples. By attracting world-renowned researchers, Singapore gains access to a wealth of knowledge and fosters collaboration with local talent. This accelerates the nation's development in AI, a direct benefit for Apple. They gain access to a new generation of AI experts, perfectly aligned with their own ambitions in the field. On the other hand, programs like the Generative AI X Digital Leaders Initiative allows companies to partner with tech giants, an excellent opportunity for Apple to collaborate and develop innovative AI solutions. With Apple on board, Singapore is poised to become a Southeast Asian powerhouse for AI development. Imagine a future where Siri not only understands your commands, but also your regional dialect. Think of a health app that leverages AI to personalize your health journey, tracking vitals through your Apple Watch and suggesting health plans tailored to you. It could even connect you with specialists in Singapore's renowned healthcare system. By joining forces, Apple and Singapore have the potential to reshape the entire technological landscape of Southeast Asia. Yet this collaboration is more than just about immediate gains. It's about building a future where technology empowers people in new and exciting ways. But is the hefty investment in Singapore really worthwhile considering Southeast Asia's current insignificant market share for iPhones? Well, Southeast Asia might be a small slice of the global pie compared to China, but it's a fast-growing one, ripe with potential for a tech giant like Apple. And this potential is further unlocked by Singapore's vast network of free trade agreements with its Southeast Asian neighbors. Imagine these agreements as VIP passes, allowing Apple to bypass trade barriers and navigate import-export processes with ease. This strategic foothold in Singapore makes it a perfect gateway for Apple to expand its reach and customer base across Southeast Asia. Adding to Singapore's appeal is its world-class infrastructure, a dream for any logistics giant. Think efficient transportation networks and top-notch ports, ensuring swift product distribution and happy customers who don't have to wait an eternity for their new gadgets. But the true cherry on top is Singapore's unique position as a neutral ground. Unlike some other regional players entangled in US-China tensions, Singapore avoids picking sides. This diplomatic finesse allows Apple to operate smoothly, using Singapore as a safe space to strategize and execute their Southeast Asia strategy. By establishing a strong presence in Singapore, Apple isn't just entering a market, they're becoming a part of it. The success of this partnership could see Apple products seamlessly integrated into the daily lives of millions of Southeast Asians, solidifying the company's position as a global tech giant for years to come. And speaking of shaping the technology landscape, did you know that Singapore is quietly building a high-tech digital world of its own? With one particular district at the forefront of this exciting development? Watch this video to find out more.